It's not just drivers, pit crews and fans that travel with the IMSA Sports Car Championship. Legions of media, camera crews and photographers work tirelessly to capture the moments unfolding. Getting the shot is just the start for freelance photographer Jamie Price. I've been a racing fan since I was 11 years old and it's, it still gives me such a buzz just to be trackside and you feel the cars and just see all the fans. I, I love it because I'm still a racing fan at heart. Working closely with professional athletes is part of the game and Price has worked hard to form strong relationships with the drivers and their teams. I've kind of shifted a little bit from loving shooting the cars more to loving shooting the people more. You get to know the drivers, which is really special. You can see who's in the car a lot of the time, especially when the light's right. So you can see that, you know, Tommy's in the car, Ollie's in the car. I can see that it's them at the wheel and it makes it a little bit more fun. You bring that human element into it and you can capture their personalities. They start to trust you as a, as a photographer, as an artist, and it's kind of a really interesting mutual relationship and dynamic, and they're just gonna let you do your thing because they trust you. Good morning, Sebring. The Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring in March is a favorite race among photographers due to changing light and challenging conditions. We've had races here where it's been beautiful and sunny, and then all of a sudden, it's raining and you have to have rain gear on you, you have to know what's coming. I have all the lenses that I could use from a 500 millimeter lens down to something really wide like a 14 millimeter. I like showing that the cars are moving. I spend a lot of time panning at slow shutter speeds which you get a lot of really cool colors. But I also love shooting those differences between light and dark and shadow and bright sunlight. You can use that and really make something special where the car and the colors of the car really pop because some of the cars are just super colorful and that's a photographer's dream is to have nice light with a colorful car like Corvette. You can show the cars on pit lane and they stand out so much from everything else. You have the, the concrete that Sebring is known for and with a bright yellow car that, that really stands out. Some of the pit lane shots where you've got driver changes happening in the middle of the day and you can see how hot it is, but you can also see the intensity and, and the, the motion. It's a high shutter speed photo, but you can see the drivers are moving and, and the mechanics are moving and, and everybody's got a job to do. And the whole thing just kind of meshes into a really powerful picture that's not just a car on pit lane. This is the heat of the moment. This is Sebring at its best. The price, the natural color palette on offer and the high speed action allows him to get creative whilst also providing editorially strong imagery for his clients. Nighttime is so different than shooting in the day. You can't even necessarily see the color of the car coming from 180 miles an hour bouncing around on, on the concrete slabs and suddenly they're on the brakes and there's just sparks and orange glow and it's amazing. It's a very different experience to shooting in the middle of the day and I, I don't know how these guys did it 40, 50 years ago because I don't know that I've been able to do it. A record crowd here at Sebring. Get your cameras out, it's going to be very pretty. Sports photography is so competitive but the reward is the chance to capture that special moment. I think my favorite photo that I've probably ever taken was one of those that I just got lucky. I saw the car go off and knew where it was going to come back on. I dropped my lens, I picked up the 500, and it's all happening so fast. And the, the lens and the camera were in the right settings, and a lot of it's luck. You just, you never know what you're going to get. I've got some amazing pictures from this race that have nothing to do with my talent. And there's so many talented photographers, you're literally competing against the best in the world. And it's not a competition, there's no winners and losers, but I'm going to look at their pictures and go, man, I wish I'd shot that.